To illustrate the arguments proffered by climate change deniers, we will look at a number of the most popular claims and debunk them. We will put ourselves in the position of looking for information online and then why the information does not pass the crap test. The first claim I would like to address is that of climate has changed before. In the publication Quadrant in July 2009, Richard Linson authored an article entitled Resisting Climate Hysteria. In that article, Linson wrote, Climate is always changing. We have had ice ages and warmer periods when alligators were found in Spitsbergen. Ice ages have occurred in a 100,000 year cycle for the last 700,000 years. And there have been previous periods that have appeared to have been warmer than the present despite CO2 levels being lower than they are now. More recently, we have had the medieval warm period and the little ice age. Does this pass the crap test? Let's start with currency. Is the information current or out of date? Well, we are currently on the sixth assessment report of the IPCC, and this article was written before the fifth assessment report. The article is certainly dated, but the content isn't inconsistent with current research. The article itself references, for the time, recent research articles in, amongst other journals, Science and Nature. How about relevance? Well, no problem here. The article is certainly relevant to the search about whether climate has changed in the past. Authority? Let's look at the author, Richard Linson. Well, prior to his retirement in 2013, he was the Alfred P. Sloan Professor of Meteorology at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Absolutely no problem here. Indeed, he was the lead author of Chapter 7 of the IPCC's third assessment report. Linson certainly has the credentials to be making comment on the subject of climate change. Accuracy then. Now this is where there is a problem. Previous climates can be explained by natural causes, while current climate change can only be explained by an excess of CO2 released by human fossil fuel burning. Records of past climates indicate that change happened on timescales of thousands to millions of years. As we saw in the last lecture, the global rise in temperature that has occurred over the past 170 years is unprecedented and has our fingerprints all over it. Finally, let's consider purpose. Linson is widely known as a contrarian, but is a highly respected scientist. After retiring from MIT, Linson took a position at the Cato Institute, an organisation founded by and largely funded by the Koch brothers, who have actively sought to limit climate change legislation. Interestingly, Linson also took a contrarian view on the issue of secondhand smoke. In terms of the crap test, I would argue that it fails on the basis of accuracy and to a lesser extent purpose and currency. Before moving on though, let's take a closer look at this climate change myth. The myth that current climate change is natural because past climate changed naturally makes an implicit and incorrect assumption. It assumes that because the climate has changed from natural causes before, it can only be changing from natural causes now. This is committing what is known as the single cause fallacy. As the name suggests, this is when a phenomenon is falsely attributed to a single cause, even though other causes are possible. It would be similar to saying that smoking cannot cause cancer because people were getting cancer before cigarettes were invented. Thanks for listening.